Hello, I'm Matt, and welcome back to Southern RPG. Today, we're going to be playing Across the Wonderlands. It's an open world survival crafting game. It's just released as a demo on Steam a couple of days ago, so we're going to check this one out. So let's get into it. This place looks really damn fantastical. I'm really liking the look of it, the art style of it. It's not really my complete cup of tea. In survival games, I like to be more realistic, but it's definitely something that might interest a lot of you. I mean, look at that. It's bloody beautiful. Let's just do a little screenshot. There we go. Lovely jabbling. So we're going to go into inventory. It's going to tell us to drag and drop free sponge blob onto your jacket this is this the jacket is that the jacket that is rock hard sponge jacket of durability and it clothes inventory so we're gonna grab i'm gonna grab up I, I have to grab up all this stuff I, whenever i'm playing a bloody survival game i overfill my inventory if you ever see me play return to moria you know exactly what i'm talking about tell us to go pick up free cupcakes from this table ow what was that pick you up eldritch plant Oh, okay. Yeah, the dodge is uh, some sort of weird teleport. Let's try. And, it's not going to attack us. There we go. What is this? Galactic Ginger. Picking up all of the stuff. Everything. Pick up all of the things. What the hell are they? So electricity. What does it mean by electricity? What's that? So there's. Okay, there's some enemies in there. Can we break in? Doesn't look like we can break into it. There is a water symbol there. Maybe we have to get some kind of water. And we've got some apples. Do we get all the apples from these trees or what what does it do? Let's just it's dropping some. Some of these trees have apples, some of them don't have apples, it looks like. What's this? It looks like coral. Red coral. What does that do? So what do these things do? It looks like you have different sections. You've got eaten raw, so it gives you a set of certain things. You can slot it in a dish, which gives you something else. Slot it in a weapon and slot it in clothing. So there's different things you can do with all of the ingredients. This gives us health regeneration if slotted into a dish. This one gives us uh, melee damage minus two if slotted in a dish. Melee damage plus two if slotted in a weapon. We've got these cupcakes. And these popping poppies looks like they're going to be some kind of explosive. So a lot of combinations we might be able to get out of this. This could be pretty damn fun. What have we got over here? What are these bunnies? Do we have to kill these? Hello? What's this? Cotton candy. There's one. Kill it. Okay, I feel horrible for doing that. It literally died and turned into a bloody firework. I did see that it might be able to... We actually did we just pick up did we just pick up the whole bloody rabbit did we pick it pick up, okay let's grab all the rabbits let's grab all of these little pink boys there's another candy there let's grab you pink boy pick up the cotton candy so what are we gonna do with these if we pick these guys up i swear i picked up these rabbits so where are they there it's just got no picture early access bugs the kind of rabbit that takes fast and furious to a whole new level zooming around with a madness that makes caffeine look like a nap like me when i drink too much monster so we have to add and drop some of these on the cupcakes it looks like so they have one slot see some of these have two slots three slots three slots and that should finish load it up as ammo ammo quick pick let's Assigned to ammo quick pick. What's this thing? Let's grab these. Just collect everything. I'm a hoarder. Let's grab all of these water berries. What's that? Jam jar. Lovely. Get some fruit jam. What does that do? Fruit jam. Gives us health regeneration plus 10 a second. I see. I see you, bunny. Come here. Come here. I want to be a friend. We're collecting you. Right. So I actually noticed something when I was going. There's a water symbol on these berries. And it looks like we can actually assign them to the ammo slot. So if we go into the right click and then throw it at it. Oh, that actually worked. Okay. Let's kill this slug. Bye, sluggy boy. Okay, that's disgusting. Oh, there's another one. Kill it. Just get away from that so we don't get covered in whatever that mess is over there. Snail slime. Veggie sandwiches. I picked up that. Jealousy emotion. What the hell is that? The emotion makes the enemies where once stood allies, turning simple misunderstandings to epic quest for vengeance. So we can actually just... We can use emotions against enemies. That's pretty damn new. There's a flying fish egg. Snail slime. Oh, we can hatch eggs. Uh, and a vicious fish with a knack for flight. I'm guessing... Ah, I wonder what this symbol is here. What was that? What was that? Surprise emotion. Why the hell did that just pop out of me? Surprise, giving away the prize possessions, they free samples. So it's, uh, for, I guess that's going to be kind of like a runaway type thing. Let's carry on and do a little bit more exploring. What's this? Honeybee. There's more honeybees. Let's grab these. Grab all the honeybees we can. We've got some fruit. It looks like some of these things, they're different kinds. So we have vegetables, we have fruit, and we have meat. I guess we're going to be, what's that? Refreshing tea. What have we got over here? What's this? What does this do? Sunbeam oil. Sunbeam oil seedlings. So it looks like we have the seed things here and it's got this little symbol. It's the same as these guys. They have a symbol here and these guys also have this symbol here. I'm not quite sure what it's used for yet, but I'm sure we'll find out. It looks absolutely beautiful at night. Holy crap. There's a slug. 
Oh, where are the warberries going? Don't run away from me. Right. It says we've got to throw this at the slug. And it's going to make him small. Now we've got to defeat it. Oh, we hit it. That, okay. Okay. Time to figure Lovely. Out Snail slime everywhere. There's some fish over there. What the hell is that? What we got down here? Anything tasty? We've got some fruit jam. Lunar shade seedling. And some lunar shade olives what are these guys going to do for us they're going to be able to poison us if we eat them ourselves that's not good what does this do this ranged attack speed buffs so everything we can slot in all kinds of different stuff what's this let's kill this bloody little slug it's going to explode everywhere we're going to cover it in its juice all right let's what do these do guys do what do these guys do flying fish grab all the flying fish is that going to have the same symbol okay it's got the same symbol what's behind there surprise emotion getting all the emotions today we'll have to test it out to see what that does here in a moment what do we have that of it we need to go over there okay i don't want to don't want to jump just yet don't want to be finding out if the falling damages okay no we have a gliding implement i just sort of pop up as i was doing it some more vegetables oh honeybees i don't know what that's gonna do for us but can we uh get all these fruits and stuff okay what are these guys gonna do exactly we'll figure it out as we're going along we'll figure it out there's loads of honeybees down there as well i don't know if we should just grab them or not let's just grab them probably gonna be useful for something at some point there's another one of those barrier things let's go check it out what are we got in here ah okay so we got the fear emotion we got some rabid candy eggs more fear emotions. We'll take all the emotions we can. What's this going to do? Okay. Spins out. I thought I was going to explode them for a second. I was kind of worried what was going to happen. Colorful sprinkles. So these guys actually drop these. I saw it just pop out a colorful sprinkle out there. Let's just pick him up. More berries. We need all the berries. I don't know why we need all of them but i just feel like we should have them why does that sound like the bloody fairies from zelda ocarina of time you know the ones that <laughs> you know the ones i'm talking about or am i just losing my mind it sounds exactly like that to be fair all right let's go have a look to see what this guy wants let's have a quick look see bonjour hello honey we'll pick up honey what does the honey do honey is has the fire burning effect okay that's probably going to be pretty damn useful to be fair Let's pick up all this slug meat and stuff. What's that there? Surprise emotion. More emotions. We do love them. Five coral old wood. We haven't chucked down any trees yet, so let's have a look. Two. Okay, these guys do actually drop it, so we got some more coral old wood there. Let's grab some of this. Skill building. Hold Q outside of combat. What's that? Black Stardust. We'll take some of that. Hold Q outside and to get sucked into a bag. It's like fantastic beasts. What's that on the floor? Meat tartar. Slingshot. Gonna need some of that. Always need some of that. What's this rabid candy doing? We got some candy. Oh! I just picked up a nest by accident, I guess. Rabid candy. So we got these seedlings, and I was just having a quick look, and it seems that we can actually plant these, and it takes 30 minutes to grow these bad boys. So we're going to place all of our little plants down, which gives me an idea of the... Where are those bunny rabbits? There they are there. They had the same symbol. So can we chuck these out, and they just stay in our plane of existence we have all the bunnies all the bunnies in the world they're just going to run around and join themselves which means we also can use these fish as well what about these honeybees let's do these honeybees do we have any apple plants check out the honeybees are they just going to enjoy themselves over here as well oh, looks like they might we have some more seeds and stuff we can plant what's this one place item what was this one here that's a sunbeam lunar shade lunar shade what else we got let's place this one down as well that's a popping poppy is there anything else that we have in here i'm trying to see because there's like some <laughs> icons missing of certain things in here um just some candies and stuff it doesn't look like we have anything else we can actually plant and use right now Wait, no, we have eggs. Okay, we can place some eggs down. Let's place these eggs down. It also has the 30 minute timer, so we'll have to check them out at some point when we're back in 30 minutes. I'm guessing because of like they're fish and they found them in water, we should probably chuck them in the water over here because it looks like there's a couple actually over here already. What's this exclamation mark? So let's place the egg for this in here and then we'll put this to ammo and throw these out. So we have a load of fishies. Pebbles, we need all the pebbles. Let's grab all the pebbles. We need ammo for our slingshot. Okay, so it did say that these guys, as I was running around, I was just having a little look inside of these, and I noticed that they need meat. So if we add, we have some meat here. Let's drop this meat and see what it's going to do. Or do we have to throw it? Let's try and throw it. Didn't seem to do anything just then. Where did the meat go? We still have, uh, where's the meat? There's the meat, so we'll 
put this to ammo quick bar why is that wolf chuck that one over there is he gonna eat it are you gonna eat it he actually did eat it so these guys are gonna be requiring food we got some bees here which are gonna be feed with fruit but after a little bit of testing it seems that you can only do it once they have the exclamation points above their head these guys are over here just uh doing their thing so they should be able to drop candies and stuff for us there's a candy on the floor there what do we have here we have a headband looking all handsome and shit we got some really bad clothing I don't know what that's going to be used for because we've got some pretty decent stuff already. So, it's starts going to have to open up and go in to get this propeller. We need three, three of those honeybees. Let's collect one. I, did, I put them all out by accident. Come on, guys. Come on. Come down. Oh, what's this? A honeybee egg. And there's some nests over here. Sun blush tree seedling. So, we should actually probably stick these eggs in the... That's probably going to be a better idea <laughs> than what we were just doing. So, let's... Go into the inventory, get our eggs out. Uh, place item, put them in the nest. Does it speed it up if we put it in a nest? Oh, they just have hatching timers. So place item, stick those in there. And we do have another one over here. So we're going to place the item for this guy. Did those guys come down, they did. Come here, I need two of you. There we go, thank you. Just <laughs> doing some running stuff. That's kind of cool looking. Let's plop you down. So what's that going to do? We do have a building menu with all the standard fare. We've got some... Uh, th those are tiny. What the hell am I supposed to do with that? What am I supposed to do with that? Oh, okay. You can place it pretty much anyway. Can I break it down though? Dismantle. So that's going to take coral fragments to do that. So can I place you down or not? You have to have it in the direction of it is. Let's see if we can place some other stuff. What we got here? We've got sloped roofs. Here's some walls. Ceilings. Walls. One by one. Okay, these walls are tiny. What are we supposed to do with this? It takes a, it takes red coral to make oh you can use different resources to okay so if we click that we can use z to pick what resources we want to use for it so we should probably be careful with that let's dismantle because we need to keep a lot of these resources can we make a nest we can make a nest let's make another nest right here we have all of our eggs over here in this thing it's actually still hatching there's a sun blush tree sun blush tree is the the apple thing no so let's place that over here it says they need water so what happens if we put water on there let's go into the bag actually quickly and just place this tree down so do we just throw these on it okay so it speeds it up but only for a really short amount of time like five seconds speed up that's not any good to be fair uh where the we got still got some bees over here do we have another bee let's just quickly drop you and then you can enjoy your best life because there's going to be a tree here soon because that's what they were surrounded by anyway they were surrounded by those trees so we can check that out so hold q to exit the briefcase and it's night time now oh hold right mouse button and scroll there. down okay run into the airstream okay so why did why did that not do anything why did that not give me high enough okay there we go sweet if grab the note place, push j after countless experiments okay that's just a little bit of uh lore information there so now we're gonna recall your briefcase oh you can press q to recall it got it defeat snotty using slot crafted he's all the way over there there's a lot of stuff we still need to explore and find. Oh, there's some berries. Let's go have a look. What are we going down here? Some water berries and a surprise emotion. Let's grab all these bad boys. And do a little bit of exploring. Let's explore the world. There's an invisible wall there. That is a big ass slug down there. Uh, we're probably going to need one of these electrified cupcakes. He's going to shrink. And then we're going to go and murder him. Oh, this, this guy is uh, a lot harder than the other ones. We need to kill him. We need to kill him cut quicker, harder. I can't even see if he's going to attack us or not because he's invisible for some reason. Okay, so he's dead. He just exploded. What can we harvest water? Ah, I wonder what that does. I wonder if that speeds up. All objects in brief base got wet. So that means everything's going to grow quicker, I guess. Snail slime. We have 13 HP. That's not good for anyone. How do we get our HP up? Do we... Where's the bloody bag? Okay. Where was... We had a jam jar, I'm pretty sure. Where'd the jam jar go? There. Gives us 10 HP a second. Consume item. Health generation 10 a second. It didn't give us anything. It gave us zero HP. Maybe I did something wrong, but it just says consume it, so I don't know. I don't think so. All right, let's head back up. We killed a big slug. There's some slime everywhere. Let's grab these fishes to add to our little fantastic beast zoo. It, is, it does remind me a lot of the briefcase that he has in Fantastic Zoo. Where he has all of the animals just inside of his briefcase. It's kind of cool. It's a cool concept, but it is kind of like you can kind of clearly tell that it's been taken by them right we've explored most of what's this way what's that we got candy on the floor there there's a honeybee thank you 
we almost just got killed by a plant. I'm just literally grabbing everything. So we can start having a look, see if we can mix up some stuff to start creating or at least get a chance of beating boss man. What's up here? Is this, this is the way we started, no? I'm pretty sure this is the way we started. There's another honeybee. So I've been trying to way, find a way to get my HP up and there's been so far no way to be able to do it. What are these guys doing? Hello, Bedford Vegetables. He's just standing there doing his thing. Oh, these went down quite a lot when we were doing that. So they went down like four minutes more than the eggs. So the only way I was able to find to do this was to actually literally die to get my HP back up. Like I don't know, that, that's seems like a pretty big bug to me to be honest so let's go and take a look to see if we can do something with this boss probably get our asses kicked i'm pretty terrible at combat in most games but it says we need to use a slot crafting and briefcase throwing to beat this boss so let's go have a little look see okay we killed the slug What's that? Whatever that was, let's grab it. That's the Echo. There's another slug boy over here. Let's kill these slug boys. We won't go through there just yet because I did spot an opening over here. Oh crap. And I missed it because I'm terrible at games. So I guess we're going to literally fly over to that point. Okay, so we have to actually use our berries to get through this. Jacket. Some stompers. Uh, what's this one do? This one, melee attack speed. Meat tartar, melee damage. We'll put you over in the main quick bar. If you actually go into the item itself and click on it, you can click on everything that you need to find. So there's burning here. Stunned. Coral. Snail slime gives sticky. SpongeBob. This gives electrified. So if we do... I'm going to try a little something, something. When we go and fight this boss, I'm going to try something. Uh, let's see if we can put that on there. So it's got wet. And we're going to put this to throw at someone. I'm going to take this off over here on a sign. So we have electrified. We have electrified water. We have water. Uh, we do need to get the fire on it. So what we're going to do, actually, is because I just picked up another weapon and some new stompers. We're going to... Where, where did it go there? Because it's got, like, no durability on this guy. We're actually going to try and put some of this stuff on here. So if we put... I don't know. What's this one here? Surprise. Let's stick a surprise on here didn't do anything it did do something uh surprise on critical hit so surprise on critical hit and we want to put the fire on here as well where's the fire it was the honey where's the honey there we go we've got fire on there as well and we got what else can we do stunned we'll do stunned as well right so i don't know what happened we kind of duplicated some stuff there and it just started working again so we're gonna try it with that one uh then we should have some decent stuff let's try and go and break this through again what do we have down here? Nothing that goes out to the area we were at before. Now we do have to fight this guy in here. Oh, we got some. There's a boss in here. Oh crap! Don't don't hit us. We can't do anything about it right now. Let's grab all these water berries. Where's the big boy? Big boss man's over there, but there's a lot of little ads floating about. So let's try and kill these guys first. All right, let's kill all the ads around. I don't want to be fighting Big Boss Man with all these little tiny slugs everywhere. That one's about to explode. Ah, oh, you got the surprise. Okay, so we just need to crit that dude. Kill some more of these. Just empty this out. Let's try and get as many of these as we can before Big Boss Man starts fighting us. It seems that when they get feared, they die instantly. Oh, crap. Oh, that's not good. That was a big one right we got this guy over here and we got zero hp we got almost no hp and the only way we can get healed is just <laughs> the only way we can get healed is by literally there's loads of slugs over there oh what why are we so far away what happened all right let's try and get over there using our floaty device i did see a blue bar going up as i was fighting this dude though, though. so we'll have to have a look to see what it actually does What's this? Right, veggie sandwiches, another slingshot. So let's, if you look, we're actually making a bar go up at the bottom there. Oh, we have to move. He's firing at us. Don't get hit by him. He just went up with all of those things. Let's try and get that thing up. Let's go and get this cupcake out. Okay, and we'll try and get this, throw this one. And then we're just going to keep firing these bloody things at him. He just, oh god, he's going to kill me again. 
We need to get him up. Right, let's get the way out of this. We've only got 5 HP left. That's not good. Right, come on. Stop chasing after me, weirdo. I don't know what this is going to do, but I think we need to do it. I need to kill us. Damn it. God damn it. Come on. Why are you still firing at us? Right. Let's throw these things down here. Get this guy. I need to get this bar up. I feel like I have to do this. He's going to fire loads of shit at us. He's healing himself again. Come on. What do we got to do? Why do I feel like we're doing something completely bloody wrong? It says to use status effects. So I'm guessing this is the way we have to get his status effects out. Oh god, he got stuck. Okay, let's try it. Come on. Come on. Hit it. What's it doing? How do we get it? What do we, what do, we do here? It's flying up in the sky. Right, let's try and do these things. Where are they? Let's stick these on here. What else have we got on here? It seems like we're working now. Come on. Come down, man. He's back up in the air again. Let's get there. Let's throw these rocks at him. It's not going to do much damage, but it's going to do better than none. Wow, well, if we just keep pushing him up... At Whoa! Oh, where's he gone? Um, how the hell was supposed to happen? Where's he gone? He's gone to our space. What are we supposed to do now? I guess we won the game. Is he going to come down or is he just flying? He's coming down. He's coming He's coming down. I see him getting bigger. Where's he coming down though? He's coming down. Run. Let's go quickly. We killed him. How the hell did we get <laughs> What even happened, man? <laughs> Oh god, we actually just pumped him to outer space. We're gonna pick up that anger emotion. Uh, I, I literally have no idea what happened there. Exit sanctuary through the mirror. I don't think that was supposed to happen. Like, I really don't think that was supposed to happen. But it did. Let's go over to the mirror and see what happens. <laughs> that, was, that was bloody weird. Anyway, let's move on to the next part. We killed the boss man. And hopefully they didn't drop anything for us. <laughs> oh god. I Okay, congrats on finishing the tutorial. Looks like you've got the basics down, so there won't be any more quests. Lovely. So we can just test anything out now. We want to test out now. I just got stuck in a wall. But that was it. That's basically what we have for the tutorial. Let's go and have a look at the base itself and see if there's any things. We got. To, oh, we got these rabbits. Oh, God, everything's dying of starvation. What are you guys doing? You still got 30 seconds. We got 30 seconds to wait on you guys. We have seven minutes to wait on you guys. Do we have some fruit? We have some fruit. So let's chuck down some fruit over here. We still can't see what's on the bloody bar. Uh, where is... We've got vegetables, but we don't want to use those ones. Where's the other vegetables we had? The purple ones here. But those vegetables, do we have any meat left? Do we, we do have meat as well. So let's chuck down... There's these guys over here. Chuck down some vegetables. Okay, we're chucking down some veggie. There's some veg, guys. Have some dinner. Uh, we need some fruit. Let's chuck some fruit down for the honeybees. Unless you're not going to do anything. Are you going to eat? Is anyone going to eat? Or is it because I'm too bloody close to you? Oh, let's say they are eating. They are eating. The bees ate because their food stuff's gone. Nice. Okay, so we have... These guys are still growing this. This tree grew. So they're going to be eating off this poppy tree anyway. This tree itself. So that's going to be good for the bees to get us our honey for fire. There's not much, there's not, there's not really edge shells to do in this thing. So I'm going to think we're going to leave it at that. I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to like us if you haven't already. For survival, give me goodness, fly safe. Ruining my bloody outro. And there we have it. Across the Wonderlands tutorial. We finished it all up. There's nothing else to really do. You can't really do much with the base building, etc. It's just some basic stuff. You can basically build a house and that's it. So we're not going to look too much into that. I hope you enjoyed the video. Fly safe. See you next time.